TSA has called the cops on this lady here. She's trying to gain access to the employee's elevator. And uh, she states it's, it's a heavy situation. So they call in LAX Airport Police to show up on this lady. TSA is going to keep an eye on her. You see where the TSA, TSA is at? That's by the employee's elevator. And she claims she has a right. Hey, you doing there, uh, M C MIG. So I think she appears to be a 5150. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, I'm at a lower level. Out of 5150s here at LAX, and uh, she's determined. To... Okay. TSA is making sure she doesn't get through the. Uh... This is where TSA is at right here by the elevator. This, who's this? This is okay. Hello, Laura. How you doing, Laura? Okay, so the cops are on the way. I'm gonna try to get this. Who's got Olivia? All right, so the cops should be here any minute. Well, how are you doing there, Stray Dog? Yeah, I'm okay, man. I'm working my butt off over here. I came on the scanner. The woman wants to get through the video. The hallway there where the employee's elevator is at. But you have to have a key to go up there anyway. But they call the cops. The cops are going to be here in a minute. I heard her talk. She seems to be a 5150. No, I can't pass security gates. You kidding me? They don't let me behind security. But uh, TMZ can't go uh, behind security, too. I mean, I wish I could. In the old days, you could. In the old days, you could wait by an airplane for a celebrity to come out. But ever since 9-11, the whole thing changed. This is the woman in question here. I heard her talk. She appears to be a 5150. There's been a lot of 5150s today. Oh, here they come. Good. How you doing? Hi, guys. All right, so they're on their way. The cops are in a good mood today. No, that's uh, that, that uh, hallway there for employees, TSA and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna try to get this. Where she's talking, it's probably gonna be a, it's probably gonna be a fifty one fifty. That's just my opinion. Uh, hopefully, uh, probably September if I, can, if I can get away. I'm trying to get my life steady here. The guy in the suit is a TSA supervisor. And uh, she's surrounded by the airport police.
Yeah, yeah, I miss New York anyway. I miss the food. I miss. Uh, I don't think I have any of my friends back there. Who knows? My mother's still back there. Though. That's my dream one day, just to travel around to different airports. That'd be great. It'll be a hell of a website. Actually, though, the cops have been uh, extra nice. Cops, the customs, the TSA. I don't have security. I have, I have no problems uh, here. I mean, once in a while I get, uh, it seems like the uh, airline employees that don't know me, they'll come at me. They're filming. Or even uh, live streaming. But uh, I guess the lawsuit and uh, the memo by the, uh, the chief, Maggot. This guy's been standing in my way. I'm just trying to piss me off. Where I move, he sees the move. This TSA blocking the uh, entrance. Let me go back over here. This fucking guy keeps moving. Keeps moving. See what I'm saying? Okay. <sighs> I think that's a wrap. <laughs> I think they're going to let her go. See what they're going to do. They're talking. The TSA and the supervisor about what they're going to do with her. They're in a the huddle right now to figure out if they're going to labor her as a 5150. Yeah, she's trying to get to a uh, unauthorized door. Yeah, it's summer during the day. At nighttime, it gets pretty cold. Unusual. She got the airport police and TSA supervisors along with TSA, and they're trying to figure out what to do with this woman. Well, you're going way back there, my dog. Yeah, we, we, we actually made up, me and Mike Tyson. I actually sued him and got a settlement out of court with Tyson, but we're actually good friends now. I see him all the time, I talk. And uh, he's a changed person right now. I forgive him. He's got that new show on um, YouTube, uh, Hot Boxing, which is really good. You gotta check it out. The kids start going back to school, end of August, September, beginning of September. But she's definitely a 5150, and uh, my guess is they're going to take her, take, take her in as a 5150. I'm using my, I uh, am MV1, I'm using the Samsung 10 Plus, which I love this phone. It does everything, it does, uh, when I go home, I, have, I put on my, um, my internet service from the phone to the TV, and I'm able to watch uh, television on my TV through the internet on the phone, which is a cool feature, and I have unlimited data, so I don't really need to have a, a cable box or anything, and it takes great pictures, it takes great video, it's, it's just a great phone all the way around. I'm not too happy with the, when I shoot normal video, it takes up to a half hour. And on 4K, this takes like 10 minutes. So they, they gotta get those those kinks out. I heard the new phone, the Samsung 10 um, 5G, is gonna be good. So they're huddling to see what they're gonna do with her. My guess is it's gonna be a 5150. Yeah, I know um, JFK really well, LaGuardia. I went back there like 10 years after 9-11 and shot a documentary on 9-11. Uh, I met John Voigt at the, uh, the JFK International Airport. He's really a nice guy, John Voigt. He was going back to New York to do something with the firemen. 
So they're gonna have to figure out what's wrong with this woman here. She looks like doesn't look homeless or anything. They're huddling over here to see what they're gonna do with this woman. Hey, Elena, Elena. It's just a woman that's trying to get trying to get in the unauthorized door. See that sign here? It's an elevator here for employees only. And you're not allowed back there only if you're an employee. You have to have a badge and everything. And she faked out uh, TSA. Uh, the guy in the suit there is uh, TSA management. And along with the LAX airport police, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with her. I say it's going to be a 5150. State. They come over here. They made a 5150 arrest earlier. And then there was one at Terminal 1. I missed that one. I was shooting out of the stone. The lady was doing, uh, she was cutting herself. I didn't make it over there because I was working uh, out of a stone. A little time to kill over here, so I just came over. Radio. It's a bad spot for all the crew members. Look at where the buses are going to be here. Police trouble, yeah, but she's talking to herself a lot. I think she's a 50 or 50. So we may we may get another perk walk here, people. Let's see. LA except for police along with the TSA uh, big heads uh, getting a plan together on this lady. They're running her name over the computer now. We're gonna see if she has any warrants. Hey, to Seattle, Seattle Jody. Yeah, it's amazing right now what's going on in the uh, cop world, cop watchers world. The way it's changing when these guys going around just yelling at the cops, calling them pigs, bitches. It's just out of hand right now. You get all these new people coming in. Yeah, you get a lot of hits when you cuss the cops out, but I don't think it's right. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do cop watching, you gotta be, you gotta be fair. You gotta take both sides. But to be yelling and cussing at the cops. Yesterday I watched a video and the guy was at a police station with his girlfriend. And he was banging on the glass, telling the cop to answer him. But the, they were calling these cops all, all different names. That's all this. And he kept yelling to the, the glass, uh, get off your back. Sexual stuff with this cop. And I always go to myself, it's not hate speech. It's just too many new people getting involved. And they're just doing it for the hits. And the cop approaches them right away, fuck you. you know? I have crushed out cops before. But only when I'm harassed, I don't look for it. It's, it's not a good thing, the way this, this movement is it's moving with all these new people going for the hits. Oh yeah, I remember that one. She's like a, she's like a joke, that video. All of her colleagues laugh at her over that one. But she had no right to harass me and inches away from the ashtray. It was ridiculous. I mean, no one, no one wants to be a YouTube star. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna talk to her, see if she's okay. It doesn't appear to be homeless. He has new sneakers on. Sneakers are brand new. But you could be right. Ellen, you could be right. All right, they got a passport. Oh, she was trying to get in. Uh, see this uh, blue sign? It's an elevator there for employees. She was trying to go up this elevator, and to scare the TSA because they use the elevator, and they uh, they actually call in the cops. And they have, a, they have some TSA supervisors right behind this pole. Okay, so let's see what they're gonna do. I think the lady from the outreach program is gone in the state. She was here earlier. She took somebody to uh, UCLA Harbor. 
for a beer fifty one fifty. Well, they are, yeah. That's one of the main reasons why I don't have any children because it's, it's really hard to raise a kid in California or anywhere nowadays. There's Meg, ball people. There's Meg. She's working today. Meg. Meg, shout out. This is my this is my girlfriend. Meg, looking good, girl. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just even like New York schools are going that, going to that path at this point. But the airport police, they do a little bit of everything. Psychiatrists, cops. Um, you name it, they do it. All right, watch the my moderator. <laughs> yes, we got Watchdog as the moderator. My Watchdog JCMO. No hate speech. Uh, you yeah, no bullying, hate speech allowed here. If you can do the hate speech and all that, you gotta go. The Watchdog will take you out. And uh, he's on it. Smashed. <laughs> hey, Joe. Oh, yeah. If you listen to the police scanner, it'll probably scare you and make you want to leave the state. Yeah, I've been in all the big ones. I mean, I, I got here in 87. I, I, think I, was, I think there was a big one in uh, 90. It was really bad. Then uh, I survived the riots. I remember that. What the hell over here? Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it was bad when I first moved to California. At this point, there's a lot of homeless and a lot of uh, there's a housing shortage due to Airbnb short-term leasing. That's not helping the uh, affordable housing situation. Uh, it's just terrible. I miss the 70s and the 80s. But yeah, I survived it. It's just scary, though, man. But yeah, man, the a lot of these new car watches are, are, are bizarre, man. But you really can't blame it all on them. They're getting the revenue from YouTube and they're getting all those hits because a lot, of, a lot of the YouTubers like the when you cuss out a cop. That's you know, just do it, do it the right way. I've been doing this thing for over 20 years, man. I never saw it like this. Everybody in the mother has a phone now. If you're gonna record the cops, do it right. Saying, no, I haven't seen it. Is that a movie or something? Um, was that a YouTube channel? San and San Andes. Like the video Grand Theft Auto. Oh, a pick movie. I haven't seen that, but I'm gonna make it in my. I'm gonna check it. Check that out. Yeah, it's really strange. Real quick, so everything's shaking. Your, your whole building shakes, and uh, you, you feel helpless. So they're going to question her and see if she fits the criteria of 5150. I'm going to make it a point to see it though. Thank you for that information and that tip, that lead. Yeah, the best way, if you're going to hang out in the airport, don't go through any authorized doors or anything like that because you're going to have the cops in your ass quick. They still have a lot of homeless here, but they, the ones that lay low, don't cause any trouble. Don't see, they don't seem to be bothered because they're not harassing the people.
I like this phone because I can sit in the, I'm sitting and I'm, I'm like invisible in a way. And this cup, this is the TSA uh, management and suits. Oh, I see that one, Charles uh, Heston. Yeah, but was, before I came to California, I would see those earthquake movies, and I always believed that the earthquakes was not real. But I uh, soon found out when I moved out here, they are very real. Especially the aftershocks, those are amazing. Yeah, right, so they're treating it pretty good. They, they, they have a, they have a good, uh, they're really good with the mentally ill in the homes here, a lot of the cops. That's some lady I told me the one earlier. She was a 390 woman. She was sitting at a bar and then she threw a chair at a cop. I didn't get it because I was at, I was shooting uh, Olivia Stone. Uh, then allegedly she was cutting herself. That would have been a good one, but I couldn't make it over there. I would have missed out on the stone. But believe me, I wish I would have shot that. We got the lady with the firearm yesterday trying to go to TSA uh, to checkpoint with the firearm in the bag. That was a good one. It's a matter of time before I get the national story. Just keep recording. She doesn't want to go. I think they're trying to get away from that a door. Oh yeah, I, I like the work. We get a lot of celebrities on British here. And I like China Air, but we get a lot of celebrities on British Air in Air France. Those are my favorite to work. Thank you, watchdogs. Well, you know, it's weird, dude. You do your cop watching years ago. There's only a few of us. I guess the original cop watcher was the the Rodney King guy that accidentally uh, recorded the beating of Rodney King. And. I guess I got involved with it because of the uh, TV show Cops. That really got me involved in it. But uh, I just think it, I just think these, the new guys need to learn just to yeah, you want the hits and everything, but the call uh, the cops fatso, the call them uh, use sexual tones on them. I think that's over the top. No, my team is actually the New York Jets. I've been a Jets fan since Joe Namath, and I'm also a New York Met fan. Those are my teams out of New York, and I'm also a Ranger fan. Hey, Jay. Yeah, things are going good. I'm actually working, getting some good content. And uh, looking on is the TSA management behind the uh, poles there. Oh, thank you, Ray Jay. Yeah, but I hear they're coming out with a new phone, 5G, uh, Samsung 10. That should be a really good phone. They say it's really fast. I have the Samsung 10 here, which I love. Well, you just keep you just keep it going until you get a big story. That's the name of the game. Yeah, she has a phone, a nice phone. She's clean. She's not. She's not. It doesn't look dirty to me. She looks clean cut. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the calling the cops and stuff. That's that's just that's just going for the hits. You're, you're telling yourself. But uh, YouTube is gonna start cracking down on them. On a lot of the stuff that's happening on YouTube, because it's like a lot of it's hate, hate speech. When you call like a female you know, cop uh, a slut, you know, and get off your back, oh, like yeah, that's ridiculous. And, and then you deal with a cop and you call him fat. I mean, come on. 
if you got to, just use the F word. You know, I'm not, I'm not condoning that, but that's a lot better than um, that. So whore, tramp on your back stuff. But you got everybody in the mama now as a cop watcher. But I, I like the cop watchers that do it right. I think J.C. Playford is the original um, cop watcher. It's, it's amazing. He only has a few uh, thousand subscribers. He should have like a, he's the original cop watcher. He should have thousands and thousands of subscribers. He goes off when he has to. He's a really good news guy. He goes, he goes straight, straight for the juggler. J.C. Playford. Yeah, I used to hang out at the Empire State Building a lot. I used to go to the World Trade Building a lot, though. That was like my favorite hangout. The winners of the world hang up. I used to hang out up there, man. Yeah, that's where I got out of it. I mean, I, I, I never was an auditor, but uh, the way it's, it's going now, you got these cricket lawyers, the Hemming firm, you got all these auditors going after each other. And uh, it's ridiculous. All it does is make it makes the cops happy to see each other fighting each other. When Poetic had its uh, had his had his um, hearing at Torrance Courthouse, we all went. All the auditors from Texas and L.A. Everybody got along. We had breakfast, and that's where I actually met the Hemming firm through, through these auditors. And I feel I felt it was okay. I felt the movement was okay. And it was a bunch of bull. The way it is now, it's just everybody's fighting. I never was an auditor, you know. I don't consider myself an auditor. I, I, I'm always trying to get news stories, whether it's celebrities or real police stories. A lot of folks will try to harass you if they see you recording with a cell phone. And I, I do a lot of my recording with my cell phone. I use the big camera for celebrity video, but uh, when folks see you recording with the cell phone, they don't respect you. And they, they got to realize that the cell phones are a lot powerful than the big camera because this they are live. alive. Streaming live. All right, so they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with her. TSA is behind the pole here, along with the uh, supervisors. But yeah, the, the auditing community is really going crazy with each other. I don't think the cops are gonna take a phone away. Doesn't look homeless though to me. I mean, she could be, but doesn't appear to be homeless to me. Yeah, I think one of these days they're gonna make make cell phones where they can they, the zoom is gonna be a lot better than it is now. Even the stream is gonna be better. It's a, it's an ongoing pro, uh, process, but uh, these phones the next three four years are gonna be great. Just the fact that you can actually stream something live is amazing to me. Yeah, she does look like a high school girl, but. It, I think she's around, I think she's in her 20s, early 20s. But I think airports, I think they're allowed to be a little nervous because this place is, is on the number one terrorist uh, hit list. It doesn't have to be a foreign terrorist, it can be a domestic terrorist. So you need to run and add on the beginning of your live feed, you know how. Uh, yeah, I, I know, yeah, I normally do it uh, when I'm done, then I'll hook up the uh, ad, but that, I gotta check into it. I, I think I can do it before I even go, before I go live. Seattle Jody, she was uh, trying, she just blew a sign, it's an elevator there, it's a TSA employee uh, entrance. She was trying to get go inside there and uh, it picked up the TSA, you can see him over here, the management, supervisors, 
I think it's kind of scared to say. They're like eyes and the ears for the airport. She appears to have a plane ticket. Have you ever been on a charter bus before? Yeah, I used to be on. Uh, I went on a couple of times in back back east. Back east, I, I would go uh, to the Hamptons. Do my show was hired. Yeah, I've been on a couple of charter buses. Can I have a sit down? She's listening. Cop was telling her that's not a good way to go through. Actually, got Jennifer Lopez. She tried to sneak in down the bottom here. This is the bottom area here. She tried to sneak in. Actually, got her in the elevator with her bodyguard. That was Mr. Resting. And Casper. That was about three years ago. She appears to be confused. But the airport police deal with this every day and they're really good at it. LAPD has a substation here. But uh, LAP is not as good as uh, LAX uh, PD. They were trying to get rid of the uh, airport police and just keep LAPD in here, but that'd be a bad idea. These guys do a little bit of everything. Babysitters, psychiatrists, cops, you name it, they do it. All right. All right, so they're going to walk her out. Okay, I don't want her to. Okay. She's right there. I don't want her to see me filming. I don't want to become the story. And, uh, I think they gave, I think they actually gave her a break. Yeah, I think they give her a break. Let's see. Yeah. I'm good. I'm actually really good. You know, this is cheap here I use for this, this counter. And no, I'm not going there. I'm not. I think I make it, I make it my, if I talk, start talking to them, they see me every day, want to talk to me. I don't want to go there. I already know what happened. Okay. I got a shave, I didn't shave this morning. Resolved. Yeah, it's resolved at this point. And uh, that's about it, people. If something happens, I will go live. Thank you for the 17 likes. And uh, all right, uh, MLG dude. I will talk to you on next live stream. Talk to you guys later. Be well. Be happy. Stay positive. Stay focused. Talk to you guys later.